Anybody home? Well, you daydreaming again? <laughs> Number of times I've seen you looking up at this wall, I told you you'd make it to the big show. Now here we are. UFC debut right around the corner. All right. UFC promo crew's back here. We're going to do an interview in a few minutes. But first, I need you to fill out this release form. Height, weight, nickname, Bruce Buffer. He's going to need all of that, right? Yeah, what's good? I am back. UFC 4. Man, I cannot wait to get crazy. I cannot wait to create. I'm about to go insane. Let's go ahead and create my fighter, man. I ain't no rapper, dog. Let's get right. A few moments later. Yo, what's good, y'all? So, I finally done it, man. I've customized my fighter. I've created, I believe, the best. Let's go ahead and just put that out there. The best. So, my fighter type. I decided to choose boxer. The reason for this is, if you look at the perks for laser focus, you get to straight, your Superman and spinning punches are faster and more accurate. I want to be a demon when I throw strikes. That's the main reason why I pick boxer. Now, a lot of people will say, well, kickboxer can do a little bit of everything. Let's check the stand up. As far as punch speed and punch power, it's through the roof. Accuracy is good. Blocking is good. Head movement is good. Footwork might need a little bit of work. Switch stance needs a little bit. But other than that, it's pretty fine. As far as kick speed goes, yeah, one and a half. I am a pretty good kicker, but I won't be using those as my mainstay. If you do look at kickboxer has three stars in kick power and two stars in uh punch speed and punch power so some people would say no why not go that nah i want that punch power starting out as far as grappling it's not really much difference between a kickboxer and a boxer you know what i mean those things would go heavily with wrestler and jujitsu as far as health goes i got pretty good chin strength so i'm pretty i'm pretty hype about that now as far as my general info goes I built this player a little bit kind of like how I built them in UFC 3. 265 pounds, 6'6. Six, six. I am the king. Follow me on all social medias at iPod King Carter. Yeah. Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I'm there. Uh, I made him 18 years old because I want to have a long standing career. I want to make sure that I have as many fights as possible, get as many belts as possible, go down in weight class. You know what I mean? Just, tr just try a whole bunch of things out. Also, my posture, I chose John Dodson just mainly because I wanted to have that authentic boxer feel and vibe player movement. So I'll show you guys that. Um, also, I got that Stormzy walkout music. You guys probably will never hear it because of YouTube copyrights, but that's okay, right? As far as presets go, um, I didn't choose a preset. Um, I did choose uh, Black Dreads and my beard is crazy. I, I love my beard, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty good with that. Uh, body hair, I just chose to get a little bit hairy, not Wolfman style, but you know, and I kept everything black as well. As far as the heads go, um, I chose template nine as my head. I didn't sculpt it at all. Um, I chose brown eyes, of course. The body, I'm telling y'all, body 24 is probably the best body in the game. It's kind of like Conor McGregor's body. So I'm telling you, if you want to choose a body that looks like it has wingspan, agility, all of that, get body 24. As far as tattoos go, y'all know me, man. I'm a tattoo. I'm a tattoo artist. I had to put three layers on the lion with the crown, but you know what I'm saying I kept it pretty simple, um, somewhat like how I built it um, in UFC three. But as far as my left arm and right arm, I decided to switch things up. I decided to add a little bit more color. So this is what I went with for uh, my actual left and right arm. I decided not to put any tattoos on my legs. I just wanted to keep it simple. As my career progresses, though, if I get a couple wind purses and stuff like that, maybe I will get a couple more tattoos with, you know, the fame that I get. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, As far as clothing goes. I decided to get the common basic black top. Um, I do love the uh, Tudor Dark uh, compression pants. That's just my thing. Also, mouth guards. <laughs> I'm one of those people I'm getting money. You know what I'm saying? So I had to show off the mouthpiece. You feel me? Um, also, accessories. Man, the hair accessory, I'm going to get the king crown. It is definitely coming. I need it. I'm definitely going to earn this reward, man, for sure. Um, I'm not going to do any... Uh, face joints. I do. I ain't gonna lie. This samurai black mask is fire. 
You know what I'm saying? They got all different kinds of masks and everything like that, but I'm not going to go for those. As far as the net goes, honestly, these these chains, like, come on, bro. Like, it's looking it's looking like I train for a living. I might get this one because it's the it's the most minimal type uh look. You know what I mean? The rest of these chains look insane. You know what I mean? Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh go to emotes. As far as pre-fight goes, I'm only gonna have the power move joint, something simple. You know what I'm saying? I might do that a lot. Um, the small clap, I might do that when I'm going up against an opponent that I really don't fear. As far as post-fight, arrogant might not be the one that I go to all the time, but I will be bowing a lot. But of course, I'll get much more post-fight emotes. But taunts, I'm just going to skip all these ones. I'm just going to go and show you guys the one I'm going to use all the time, to be honest, yo. This is going to be the one, yo. Yo, I'm going to be flipping dudes the bird every time I fight. You go, you're going to get the bird every time I fight, man. So let's go ahead and save and exit. If you guys like the creation, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get into UFC 4.